I'm back at my desk this morning for us to finish off our season of bloom journal. Um, I've done my research and according to those in the know and the bits that I was able to find on, well, they weren't actually that many to be honest with you. Um, what we're going to attempt today is called a tape binding. Um, so yes, as much as you guys are going to be learning, so will I. So we're going to be winging this together. I hope everybody's well. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jackie. I'm the Artful Dancer. Um, and this is the third part in a series of um, little sh short tutorials on how to make um, an art journal. And this all started off with uh, the uh, Get Messy um, art journal or Get Messy Art um, group uh, led by uh, Kaylee Gray uh, who are currently in what they call a season of bloom so um, all the, the artwork and, and whatever they're creating obviously will revolve around that theme um, and a lot of people were making the most gorgeous journals to actually create their art in um, which we've in the first two um, the first two videos the first one we actually put together all our well I would uh, walk through what kind of papers you'd be able to put into your journal um, just you know because obviously people are thinking oh I need to have all these fancy papers and so on and so forth and it's not necessarily the case um, so I walked through all the different types of paper pages that I was going to be putting into this journal um, the second one we actually created our signatures um, and put them together and in this one we're actually going to bind them I was thinking you know should I not have like taken a step back and gone the route of doing um, a normal pamphlet stitch binding and putting all of you know putting this all together in, in one and creating one nice fat chunky journal but I thought to myself hmm, I'm, you know there are so many videos out there um, in the world of YouTube that will show you how to do a normal uh, a straight pamphlet um, stitch for binding pages together that I thought we'd try something different and to be honest like I said I did a bit of research um, over the last couple of days and I haven't actually been able to find that many videos <laughs> uh, that actually show you unless I was looking totally in the wrong place or it's called something totally different the ones that I could find uh, refer to it as a tape binding because you're going to be in essence using um i've taken this gorgeous um raw silk fabric that i received in a, a parcel from from somebody um i'm going to actually be using those in essence to bind my pages together so when we stitch our pages together we're going to be actually looping across um the binding here uh, on both sides so there's going to be two there's going to be two pieces like so uh, so you're going to actually be binding across these and obviously into the second into your second signature and binding across those so it will in, in essence hold your signatures together and obviously this would work for however many signatures you want so I mean as broad as you wanted we can add you know if you really wanted to you could go and add two three four five different you know into your actual signature I mean into your your book um, different signatures uh, and then all it would take is obviously to either to attach these ends um, onto your front and your back cover so you could either glue them um, you could use your um, embroidery floss and actually slow stitch them in so actually you know creating a nice little pattern on the front here but that's in essence what we're going to be attempting today so let's see how it goes <laughs> um, like I say, I, this is this is a first for me as well. So we'll be learning. We'll all be learning as we go. So what I've done already um, before we act, before I actually put the camera on is I actually marked off the width of this ribbon. Okay. Um. And I'm pretty sure you could use any kind of ribbon, any kind of fabric. Um to actually to do this so it doesn't you don't have to go out and specially buy um a, a whole you know however 20 30 centimeters of ribbon just for this um if you've got scraps of of ribbon at home or scraps of fabric that you can actually just cut into nice little strips i think any 
pretty much I think anything would work um, that would be fine for this so what I've actually gone and done is I've gone and marked um, you can almost see it you can actually see where I've actually marked the width of these because obviously our embroidery floss is going to have to kind of hop over these to attach this to the actual signature itself and what I've done with this first one is I've actually gone and punched holes already in it so if I could find the center oh boy because obviously these because the pages are all um, different sizes it's a bit difficult to kind of get my um, find a clip to actually hold everything together so what I actually did is I lay it flat I have this wonderful old book um, you could also use um, a, a craft mat um, that would work but obviously if you're going to be using an awl sometimes the holes that if you're going to be poking into your um, craft mat could actually leave rather large holes if you're using something smaller like um, I suggested if you're going to be using something like a thumbtack that could I mean obviously the holes would be you'd have to kind of take your pages two or three at a time and mark your holes and actually um, mark where you're going to put your holes and then actually um, punch your holes that way because obviously this is quite a thick stack of paper and it would take a little bit of force to get it through all of your papers at the same time so I like using this so obviously just poking your holes all the way through making sure that it goes all the way through and you see now my papers, pages have moved now so let's see so that obviously it goes all the way through. Okay, doke. Okay. So that's on this one. Close that again so that we don't go and get them all over the place. And we will attempt to do this one. Right, center page. I've marked these. Right, so I'm going to lie this flat. Um, and you can see here where I've actually marked where I need to poke my holes. So I'm going to go through. Like I said, this takes a little bit of force to get through all the pages. So excuse my elbow <laughs> in the camera um, if that's all you can see because I need to kind of... Um, yeah, like I said, it's taking a bit of force to get all the way through. Obviously it would be easy if you're going, you know, one page at a time. But then it just takes twice as long. So, you know, who's got time to wait to do all of that? Right, so now let's see, have we got them all the way through? Yes, let's just make sure that they go all the way through. Okay, dokes, this one. And obviously, you know, this is not... Uh, this one's moved. Oh man, you see now. This is what could potentially become a bit of a problem, is obviously when your pages move, from where you've had them and you now need to kind of because when you start binding your needle's got to kind of find the hole that you've already created so that you don't go back um, and make a second hole but that being said this journal is not um, you know it's not like I'm making this to sell it I want to actually use this at home so if they're slightly out of whack, which I could see these ones are, it's not the end of the world, to be perfectly honest, because face it, we're going to be throwing everything and the kitchen sink into this. So, And this paper being as thin as it is, obviously it is going to tear a little bit. But we are done. Right. <laughs> it's just that they all stay together. Okie doke, so we have our holes punched in our pages. Now we need to get our embroidery floss out and our needle. Right, needle, embroidery floss. Now let's see if I can undo this without unraveling the whole thing. Right, so rule of general rule of thumb, um, and that is also from previous videos that I've seen. I know uh, there's a YouTube channel by the name of C Lemon that also has the most awesome video tutorials on book binding um, all sorts of different binding methods um, she's, her tutorials are really really good and um, I think when I started binding books about two years ago one of her videos 
actually tell it actually tests you you know rule of thumb if you want for your if you want to make sure that you're not going to run out of thread if you're doing just a almost like a straight um, pamphlet stitch is you need to have one two three lengths of your the side of your book okay but now obviously we're doing two and if you do run out it's not the end of the world it's like you know let's just have another piece tie a knot carry on so um what have we got here we've got three i'm gonna do four five it's most gonna most probably gonna be way too long but so be it like i said we're all in this together right so three and um yeah, like i said this is this is how i do it and i'm pretty sure there are more professional ways of, of doing this. Um, this is just a scrappy little journal that we are going to be playing in. Um, it's not meant to be precious. It's for us. It's one of those things. Um, for me, it's when you have those days where you just want to put some paint on a, on a page. You don't want to be... Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. You've got no idea what you're wanting to do. The, you know, the, the stress of having to think about, oh, I need to, you know, it has to be perfect. It has to look like, you know, if you, you're going to be using a photograph or something as in, inspiration, you know, that it, it's a perfect replica of that. No, this is for when you literally want to just slap some paint on a page or if you found a really cool picture in a magazine and you've cut it out and you want to keep it because you know otherwise it's just going to go out with the trash when you decide to throw the magazine out um, if you're anything like me I have piles of them because I don't throw them out that regularly but then you cut your, the picture out of your magazine and you can stick it on a page here and maybe the next time you come into your journal that the picture that you've actually actually glued into your page is something that will inspire you to create something on that page and you never know it's it's yours it's only you're going to be looking at it so um it's one of those those you can't you shouldn't be afraid to do whatever in this this is literally a whatever goes journal okay so like i said not even the binding at, at this stage is going to be precious now i've got to decide hold a sec that's the front one so let's give this a try, peeps. I'm just <laughs> like I said, we'll see how it goes. Right, so I'm gonna take it from the inside out. Kiddos. We're gonna leave a little bit in the inside because obviously you're gonna have to come back and tie knots and things. So then we take our little piece of fabric and we go over it and back into the journal here we go all the way back in again let's see how we're going if this is actually making sense and I apologize if I'm like right up against the camera this is kind of weird for me too so bear with me guys bear with me right now we're gonna see aha there we go right back out again so that's kind of hmm, all right that's what it looks like inside oh and this pink is really looking so cool so we're going to take our other piece of fabric or tape or whatever you want to call it and we're going to go back in Kidokes. right so now we've got all of those already here now i'm pretty sure <laughs> For most people, if you were gonna, if you actually knew what you were doing here, um, you would have kind of worked this one out so that you could actually go back out. I actually go back out of this to go straight into this one. But obviously, these are going to be kind of holding our signatures together. So I'm going to go the easy route, and I'm going to go to here, and we are going to make this nice and tight. So, I'm going to snip it off there, take a needle and I'm going to hook this underneath, 
Bring this one around and we're going to bring this from the opposite side. And we are going to just tie a knot. And like I said, we are not being precious about this. It is what it is. We just need this to hold our finger together. Okie dokes. So. Right. Let's see. Oh yes. Oh yes. Not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. So. Right, so we go into our next one. Okay. Right, this might be a little bit more challenging. Let's do it this way around. Okay, let's take that off. Right, here is our thread. It's a little easier, obviously, because those are already attached. So we're going to go to our center of this signature. And guys, if I find a if I find a, a better way of doing this, I will let you know. And I'm now going to move all my pages. So let's see. Right. Oh, said. We're all doing this. We're in this together, guys. We're in this together. So. In again. I've actually got this long way around. It's probably nice. Let's try this way. So you really need to li obviously line up your um right, so let me just see if I need to get all these edges. Excuse my head in the camera. So obviously the ideal would be to ensure oh I can see this video is not going to be too wonderful sorry guys we need to make sure obviously that where we've marked our holes that they line up with the other signature obviously. so right I think that looks a little better make sure you've got a bit of a tail on the inside okay this takes a little bit of um, work now we're going to see if we can get through all the pages. Ah, wow, already. Yes, we are winning, guys. We are winning. Yay. Okay, right. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. I knew it, it was gonna, it was inevitable. That it's going to get to the point where all my pages have shifted and come guys, come guys, it's a bit difficult now, really, uh, it's there, right, through, and into this one, see if we can get all the way through, so, obviously, my pages have all moved. So the holes that I've poked are um, not running up too wonderful. So, here we go. Okay, right. So, guys, I think, I think we might just, just, just get So, I went to put it on the board with them. Um, leaving the little bits. Okay, dope. So, there we go. 
So we have our two signatures bound together. So now we need to kind of get our bit of ribbon nice and close that we can actually get our signatures. My focus guys. So that get them nicely together. Okay, I think this is going to be awesome when it's done. So now I need to decide. Am I going to I think I'm gonna glue these? Obviously, this is going to bleed through um, this fabric, as you can see. I mean, if this really bugs you, um, you can collage over it. So, I mean, you know, and like I said, this is definitely not a book to be precious about. Even though some of us have used our bestest papers that we've been hoarding forever and ever in a day. Guys, I think we've done it. Right. Oh, I am like seriously stoked at how well this has come out. I said it was a learning curve for all of us. All right. So this obviously is going to need to dry. What is our time here? Oh, almost done. So obviously these all need to dry, but look at it. We have this piece of awesomeness. To just play in and we have just some gorgeous pages in her little season of bloom art journal oh i think this has turned out so well guys even with that in oh yes okay this is just seriously so cool love that oh okay <laughs> clearly this was supposed to be the other way around because otherwise he wouldn't be standing on his head oh well it is what it is if i really wanted to i could make that the front and then there would be the right way around here yes then there would be the right way around so however it rolls guys I think this has turned out beautifully. It is just grungy enough for you to not have to worry about being too um, stressed about what you're actually going to be putting in here. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to just quickly go through or just mention, I can find I have a huge stash of stuff. Let's see. This bag, Let's see. Just, just bits. Um, where is my masking tape? Washi tape. I have got washi tape here somewhere, but I'm not going to go and haul it out now. So this would work. Washi tape would work. If, for example, we have this nice little small 
tiny page here. I'm going to write this down so that they don't keep popping up. I've got this little page here. And I like this, but I want to add something else to it. So, what you can do is... Oh, look at these gorgeous windows. Guys, guys, you can add in. Think about it. How cool is this? to know well, how big this uh, well, look I'm gonna be I'm gonna start playing in this so there will be a couple of videos coming shortly of um, what actually is going to be going into this this nice chunky beauty um, so you'll be able to see what I'm gonna actually be doing so who knows how many additional pages I'm gonna be adding into this oh, I think it is just so cool so guys, there we go. We've made a journal with a seriously cool binding. If you're only wanting to make one journal and not have to worry about the tape binding, then obviously this stitch, I mean, you literally just, you need to poke some holes, thread, and I'm pretty sure most people can do a straight running stitch. Think about when you have to hem your pants, it's, it's one of those, in and out and in and out and in and out. That's it. You've got to come back, tie a knot in the middle, and you've put all your pages together. So we've done it kind of fancy <laughs> with our tape on it, but you could literally just take one of these, if you don't have a huge stack of stuff to go and make yourself two, and make yourself some art journals. Create a nice little art journal for yourself once a month. That just pulls together like I say I have this bag of stuff that has come from other projects of oh, these flowers um, that I've been doing and I've got other bags that have got fabric in them and other little offcuts <coughs> stick those fold them find them create a journal it's the most awesome way to to actually keep memories to just Whatever you're feeling on the day, you know, if you're having one of those days where you stressed, overwhelmed, like I have these days where my brain feels like it's just gone on vacation, it's kind of just not there, uh, just taking five minutes, ten minutes to sit down with something like this, just picking a page that speaks to you. And whether it's you just write on it, just whatever's going on in your head, if you just put it down on paper, just write it out. And once it's there, if you're not worried about, you know, somebody reading it, then take your paint and paint over it and create something over whatever that all the, the stress and the, the anxiety and the, whatever it was that, that you were feeling for the day. Just remove it, take it out, put it on paper, make space for, for new things in your mind, put it onto your page, paint over it if you really don't want to, to look at it again, so that it's, it's, you, it's found another place, so that it's not going to take up space in your mind, in your heart, it's, it's, you've, you've let it out, you've released it, you've, you've given it to the world and you've said, okay, it's not serving me anymore. I'm putting it in my journal, I'm painting over it, I'm going to create something over the top of this that is beautiful, that is whatever, it can be just literally taking a magazine page and pasting it over the top, it can literally be just taking your white paint, your pink paint, whatever it might be, paint over it, create something over it, it's extremely cathartic, it is the most amazing stress release. Um, whether you do it early in the morning after you've woken up, before your day starts to kind of get you in a good mood before you actually get going for the day, or one of those things that you do before you go to bed to just kind of release everything that was, you know, what that was in your day that was 
perhaps you know that is kind of playing on your mind so when you go to bed that you can actually go to bed um, with with you know a little bit more ease that you don't have this permanent you know, the voices in the head I, I have nights that where you know you kind of get into bed and they just don't stop your mind just keeps racing and racing and racing you're thinking about everything under the sun this might be a good way of actually just taking all of that out putting it onto paper so that yes it's there you've you've let it out you've let it out into the world let's go do your thing um, and, and it doesn't take up space in your mind when you're wanting to actually shut down and go to sleep so I think this is going to be great fun to work in so I'm sure there will be a couple of videos coming soon of um, what I do in this gorgeous little beauty and I will bring you along for those journeys but otherwise please um, go ahead and play have fun make an art journal and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much, guys.